I look at it again that there's when you're scheduling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah especially if I'm not creating content. I, I would agree. But what happened just now? That's no, where I, I think, deck. from, from oh, what okay. I understand, I, and I, can, I'm, I can agree. I'm I'm the that the that reason that okay. it's being split like this, and, and I can agree, is everybody has too much. There's too many people dealing with too many things, and right? So, when so simplifies, you bring, we were simplifying and separating it. So it's yeah. like, you know, you have three individuals who are talking to clients, creating content, auditing content, writing content, scheduling content. You have Alex is talking to this client, Alyssa's pinging this client, you're texting this client, this client's calling Matt. <laughs> it's just, I think that that's what's causing our issues. The same with the auditing, it's like, for me, if I'm writing all day, you gonna eventually get to then that. for me to audit somebody else's writing, it's, it's, it's too much, I'm, I'm looking at it all day. So what we're trying to do here is take people away from doing certain things that they're not doing anymore, right? So then they have their space is backed up. So let's try it like that. I hope we don't have to hire a copywriter because we can't afford too much delay. So we'll, we'll leave it at there. So with that being said, the planning and the scheduling with the creative will be provided. Boom. The Alyssa Payton is going to create the content and write the copy for that. And then boom, it's going to be given. You're going to look at it, read it thoroughly, grammar it, whatever other systems we have to check and then boom there's no errors in the copy you're going to send it right back and then you guys are going to be able to schedule it boost it and run the ads um, which we'll learn i know there's a lot of ads which i want to try to figure out if jason can spend a day because i know you've learned a lot in the ads lately and there's a lot that he can teach us for ads does this make sense in the social media side of things mm -hmm. okay streamline then we have to duplicate it and easily train. Now over here, we're gonna pull away Google My Business and Bright Local from social media. The only thing you guys are still gonna have to do is schedule to the clients that are getting posted on it. But you don't have to worry about optimizing. We're gonna hire and put somebody just over these two areas. So you don't have to worry about Bright Local, you don't have to worry about Google My Business. All you gotta worry about is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and any other platforms working on the client. <coughs> okay? We're gonna find out what Jason was recommending, Matt, is that Nahal mm -hmm. has somebody under him or these two need to be connected, he said majorly, but right now we'll just yeah, leave it at that. Uh, we're gonna contract the entire website department out, which means we will no longer do anything website in-house other than final approval, okay? So I'm gonna look at Pakaj for development and setup, um, copy design, revisions, and then it'll come to me for final approval. Once it's done, it'll go to MR probably for maintenance, plugin updates, um, and additional pages and locations. I initially thought about putting this towards Peyton and Alyssa. Develop new areas we can, but we've got to get our ship straight before we overwhelm. It can be overwhelming. It needs to be the one to be told about it so that he can assign it to the person who's over that task. Does this make sense? Yeah. I like it. What do you guys think? It's scary, but exciting. It's new. I, I, I will tell you guys this, like, you know, when I was back there with Jay, like, it's, because even this, say for an example, even this, Matt, like, right now it looks like you have to manually task, you, you really won't once it's automated. Because what'll happen is, once they come through Trello, the task will automatically be submitted. And so it's gonna notice if this client's signing something that's Google Ads, it's automatically gonna flow them through the pipeline and throw them into a Google Ad task and assign it to whoever's on Google Ads. Mm -hmm. With the deadlines and everything. So I don't even have to determine the deadlines? No, because what you'll do is we'll give a sequence of how long it should take to set up an ad. And what it'll do is the system will always follow that. That's nice. It's beautiful. So if you <laughs> say, hey, three days is what we have to do from the time a client is onboarded to mm -hmm. launch their Google Ads, then that sequence will all always say that. And it'll uh, automatically always assign three days. And then yeah. guess what? They're gonna have to hit that timer. It's gonna be the same as social media content and everything. Because what'll happen is he's got Alex typing up right now, what's the client getting and how long is that supposed to take? Mm. So what'll happen is when that client signs on to a diamond package and we give that client eight hours, 
the system's automatically going to assign new clients that eight hours because they get the diamond package. If they're on